there and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn all about the Tibetan Terrier, a kind and sociable breed that's perfect for low energy persons and apartment dwellers. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the join button. Now, let's get into the video. Dog Breed History Nearly 2,000 years ago, in Tibet's isolated Himalayan monasteries, Tibetan terriers were bred and nurtured in Tibet as companion animals for the lamas in the sanctuaries. The Tibetans called TT's little people and regarded their luck charms. The Tibetan terrier is a breed that isn't technically a terrier at all. Therefore, the name is a little deceptive. Ideally, they lack the typical terrier personality characteristics. They were maintained by Buddhist monks as pets, watchdogs, and lucky charms. This breed was never traded or sold in ancient Tibet, but was given as a good luck charm. They were given the moniker, Holy Dogs of Tibet, by their owners. Crossbreeding was never done on this breed because it was believed to bring ill luck, as TTs were revered as companion dogs and luck bringers. Because of the dog's shaggy look, they're known as the Tsang Apso in their native Tibet. In their home's chilly, mountainous climate, this heavy cloak kept them warm. The complex, high plains of the nation were regularly traversed by nomadic herders who kept livestock. Tibetan terriers stood to watch outside the tents at night and assisted guarding the herd. The breed was initially popularized when an English physician named Agnes R. H. Gregg received the puppy as a gift from a patient whose husband had received treatment from her. In the 1920s, she began a European breeding program once she was able to get another dog. The breed was recognized by the UK's Kennel Club in 1937. In 1956, they were transported from England to the US. In 1973, the AKC approved the breed. In 2005, the AKC recognized 154 different dog breeds and the Tibetan Terrier ranked at number 93. Appearance the Tibetan Terrier is a friendly, sensitive, and bright, small to medium-sized dog with snowshoe feet. The Tibetan Terrier's coat is available in several colors, including black, white, brown, and sometimes a mix of colors. Gold and black Tibetan Terriers are quite common breeds. They resemble their smaller relative, the Lhasa Apso, who are at the lower end of medium-sized breeds, measuring around 15 inches at the shoulder and weighing between 20 and 24 pounds. These smaller medium-sized dogs are generally well-proportioned, weighing 18 to 30 pounds and standing 14 to 17 inches tall. The Tibetan Terrier is a non-sporting Tibetan dog breed with long fur, floppy ears, facial hair, and a coiled tail over its back. Another distinguishing feature is their oversized paws, which provide excellent traction. Their eyes are huge, dark brown, and wide set, although they might be difficult to see since these dogs sometimes appear to to be several weeks overdue for a bang cut. Temperament Despite being small-sized canines, Tibetan Terriers have a great personality. Their kind, loving, and sociable temperament is well-known among dog lovers and thrives in human companionship. They thrive on companionship and attention. Therefore, it works best in a home where someone will be present most of the day. This breed tends to bark, so owners should be ready for a loud dog and consider introducing specific training methods if the barking gets severe. These dogs are wonderful family companions if your kids are kind and gentle. They may also live nicely with cats and other dogs in most cases if the early introduction is carefully done. Tibetan Terriers are glad to play and exercise with their family members despite their generally peaceful demeanor within the house when given a chance. Socialization Tibetan Terriers are kind, understanding, loving dogs, committed to their family, and excellent with children. As always, we'd love to say early kid socialization is advised. Similar to how they interact with kids, Tibetan Terriers may first be hesitant with other dogs. Still, after a good introduction, they adjust easily under maximum supervision and encouragement. It's crucial to routinely expose a Tibetan Terrier to new people and socialize them appropriately as pups to help them overcome their shyness towards strangers. Although they tend 
tend to be reticent and timid, they are highly calm canines, so when others see them as distant, they may just be unwinding. Tibetan terriers are sensitive to loneliness and may experience separation anxiety if left alone for an extended time. Before you select this breed, make sure you can commit yourself to it. Grooming Tibetan Terriers need a lot of time and effort from their owners in the form of regular maintenance. Interestingly, the breed's original coat is resilient and can withstand harsh conditions. The undercoat of a TT is wool, which is water repellent and insulating. Different coats may have varying degrees of softness, hardness, and matte propensity. Tibetan Terriers' long coats need regular maintenance at home. If a long coat would get in the way of your dog's outside activities, you may find it more practical to keep him in a puppy cut. The hair gets tangled quickly if not kept short. The mats will eventually become so thick and unpleasant that only expert assistance will do. To maintain a healthy coat, the Tibetan Terrier must be brushed daily. Suppose you want to remove knots from your dog's coat without causing any discomfort. In that case, a detangling spray is a perfect solution. As a part of grooming, we encourage you to brush your dog's teeth at least twice weekly. Keep his nails trimmed and his ears regularly checked to prevent infections and dirt buildup. To be honest, because of the time and effort required to maintain their coat, this breed may not be a good fit for busy families. Some people are taken aback when they discover how much much they like the act of grooming. However, the actual value of grooming a TT is that it fosters a closer connection with the dog, provides excellent teaching, and allows the owner to check in on the dog's physical well-being. Exercise Tibetan Terriers aren't classified under the class of high-energy breeds. However, they still need a few daily activities. You should take your dog for daily walks or outings to the park if you live in an apartment or don't have access to a yard. Here's the right breed for you if you're a low-energy person or an apartment dweller. It is advisable to speak to the breeder during the adoption process as he is in the right position to pair you up with a dog whose activity level best suits yours. Some Tibetan Terriers are less active active than others. Note, however, that frequent home presence is necessary to avoid separation anxiety in the dog. TTs like having a position in the home from which they can watch out a window or door and watch over their family. Training Tibetan Terriers are energetic learners who like cooperating closely with their owners in activities like agility, rally, and nose work, and carrying out home chores. This breed is fast to pick things up and independent thinking. Harsh tactics or excessive repetition will make them wither. It's advised to use training methods that let the dog decide on the appropriate behavior. Instruction and clicker training is generally accessible, and humans and dogs will appreciate the growing bond that results from training together. Together. They look for relationships built on respect, trust, and collaboration. They are very devoted to their people and capable of loving. Due to the Tibetan Terrier's heritage as a watchdog, vigilant barking may sometimes be a problem. Fortunately, if the behavior becomes habitual, several strategies exist to stop excessive barking. Positive reinforcement training is particularly successful with this breed because of its intelligence and need for attention. When your dog is still a puppy, reinforce good behavior with food, toys, and engagement. Puppies of the Tibetan Terrier breed may receive basic obedience training as early as seven weeks old. Diet and Nutrition Tibetan Terriers were developed in a challenging environment when fasting and feasting were ways of life. The optimum food for your Tibetan Terrier will change throughout life since age-specific diets may provide the proper nutrients at different life stages. Based on your dog's age, weight, and level of activity, discuss a balanced diet and portion control plan with your veterinarian. High-quality dog food should be given twice daily to your Tibetan Terrier. In light of this, it is preferable to provide a TT a natural diet made with actual ingredients and trust him to consume what he requires instead of depending on directions on a feed bag. Always remember that skinny dogs have more energy, are healthier, and are more joyful. To avoid excessive weight gain, it's also crucial to restrict treats and watch portion sizes since canine obesity may eventually result in other health issues. Routines like readily digestible gruel and beef broth are part of a typical Tibetan diet. 
diet. The leftover gruel was often fed to TTs. In the past, rulers' sumptuous diets ironically caused sickness, whereas peasants' diets encouraged long life. Health Tibetan Terriers have the potential to be a robust, healthy breed with a fantastic lifespan. Their lifespan of 15 to 16 years is almost free of many serious health problems as some other dog breeds. Despite their reputation for long life, Tibetan Terriers are sometimes affected by hereditary disorders. They tend to suffer from canine hip dysplasia and hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, also known as underactive thyroid, impacts your dog's capacity to produce crucial hormones and may cause many other health issues. They're also predisposed to conditions that might cause blindness, including progressive retinal atrophy. A condition known as dystichiasis, which causes excessive eyelashes, is also frequent in Tibetan terriers. This condition might cause irritation and need further plucking or ocular lubricants if the extra eyelashes grow on the eyelid edge instead of the eyelid skin. Your dog's knees may pop in and out of position due to the luxating potential which affects the knee joints. Some dogs have joint problems after being spayed or neutered at a young age. Most breeders prefer to wait until the dog is an adult before allowing any alteration. The results of corrective surgery may be life-changing. Heart murmurs and cataracts are frequent in senior TTEs. Senior Tibetan Terriers may recover from vestibular illness if they're diagnosed with it early enough. Cancer is becoming more of a worry for Tibetan Terriers that are getting older in age. We've gathered that environmental changes in nutrition and lifestyle style away from the nation of origin are to blame for the shift in Tibetan Terrier health concerns. This breed requires frequent veterinarian checkups, immunizations, and periodic testing of the eyes, hips, and thyroid. Adopting a reputable breeder who checks the health of potential parents is the best way to ensure a long and happy life for your new furry family member. Breeders can reduce the prevalence of genetic illnesses by using genetic testing. Do you believe this is the right breed for you? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.